Earlier, if you were tuned in, you heard some breaking news regarding Ooh. the stock thousand category. And that breaking news was, just to remind us, Kiko? Yes, uh, Morello Kawasaki and Josh Elliott have parted company. So those... That, that, that combination was the championship winning success in 2015 and Morello are the reigning champions in National Superstock 1000. Um, so, yeah, not a, it's a bit of a difficult situation there. Well, to, uh, I suppose, the, the perfect person to talk to about this situation and, uh, um, and to, uh, to ask what is going on is Mr. Steve Buchanan, Morello Racing boss, team owner. Hello, Steve, are you on the line? Yeah, I am, Lester. How are you? Evening, Kiku. Good evening, Steve. Hello, How are there. we? Yes, we Hello, are. mate. Yeah. Oh, I'm very well, thanks. Can't complain. You are live. Just want to stress that, um, <laughs> So, uh, just in case you didn't already know. But uh, So, yeah, what is going on then, Steve? Um, what's going on? Bottom line is we, c we couldn't give Josh um, the bike that he wanted to ride to win the championship. We... We've, as a team, we've turned the turned the bike inside out, gone up and down and back and forward, um, and Josh just couldn't, didn't get settled on the bike, and then we went to um, a test at Snet and the, the BSB test, looking looking very positive, and unfortunately we had um, a gearbox go, um, and with that we didn't have time to change an engine, so that messed. Josh's last uh, out and up on the bike, and he f he just felt we'd let him down as a team, I think. And as I say, we couldn't give him what he wanted. So I got an email in email this afternoon just saying he couldn't go on like that, and he wanted to quit the team. So I just you know wished him the, the best of luck for the future. And as uh, the reigning champions, we know we can't win the championship now this year. But we've now got to look forward. We've got um, young Sam with us still, and we will have a replacement rider by the time we get to Snedden, who we will announce in due course. Would it be fair to say that in the opening three rounds of the season, in the opening quarter of the season, it has been a difficult start? Uh, one podium at round one in tricky conditions, arguably with the track temperature. Did, did you foresee this coming at all? No, no. We had a um, we had we, for whatever reason we struggled at Donington. Um, we set up. We don't know why. Temp track temperatures to me has got nothing to do with it. Um, the the one of the things we had as well. We went on to um, Brown Hatch, as you all know. Um, everybody thought we were cheating, but we we constantly been asked by Josh and his dad to try a different map in the bike to see if we could get the traction control working better and the anti wheelie working better on the bike, which um, some of the Kawasaki or most of the Kawasaki riders have suffered with if the bikes aren't set up dead right. So we got a map off um, Kawasaki. Uh, we put it in the bike. They went on the dyno at Brains Hatch. I passed all that. Josh went out, um, qualified, done the race. After the race, as you know, we go into Scrutineer and we got called in with Stuart Higgs and said the map we'd put in the bike was over revving by 600. Kawasaki done us a letter stating that was nothing to do with us, but that just, in all fairness, fell on deaf ears as they have a job to do. With that, Josh lost nine points, so that put, put him further back in the championship. And then on the Sunday, that put him back further on the grid. So, yeah, so things didn't go to plan. And... We then moved on to Alton Park, and when you look at his teammate, Sam, who's what, only ever been there once, um, was hunting Josh down all, all, all the while, and it just shows that Josh, for whatever reason, couldn't get used to that bike. Sam seemed to love the bike, and if you, ta if you take it as um, that Sam is a rookie and Josh is a seasoned uh, rider on the Stock Thousand, but... Um, just couldn't get the bike right for him. So that was just a case of part and ways, and unfortunately things happen and you have to move on. Are you disappointed in a way? Because, of course, as we as we said before we just started speaking to you, this is the, you, you are a winning combination. You know, 2015, it was a brilliant year for you both, albeit on a different spec Kawasaki's at extent. Did you think that maybe, as in coming into this year, we spoke to you, of course, at the NEC, 
that this would yep. be kind of rekindling those 2015 memories. Josh would be on the pace straight away. Sam would eventually yep. join him up the front, or is it always just no, been a little no, bit I, difficult? No, I never thought for one minute that um, Josh would be a front runner straight away. That's taken things away from every stock rider was in that championship because there's, as I said to you at the start of the, of the season, Kiko, I believe there was one of any seven or eight riders um, what could win that championship, and that was never, ever going to, never, ever going to be easy. Um, Sam, yes, we always, and we still do believe in Sam. Sam just gets his head down and go out, um, comes in, says, says what's right or wrong with the bike, and he goes out, and he keep, just keeps chipping away all the while. Well, unfortunately, it just didn't happen with Josh. Um, we just could not find the balance of the bike, of um, what we had. Um, we tried Danny's settings from last year. We tried every setting. There, we, basically, there was no more settings for us to go anywhere on the bike. And when you think we have Chris, who does all our electronics, we have Michael from K-Tech working with us full-time on the suspension, and then bikes don't ask for nothing, but we just couldn't give him, just couldn't give him what he wanted. Where does this leave your team now? Because obviously it's a bit difficult because you're coming into your home round, massive event for the team, based not far away, obviously yourself and the team itself as well. We've seen yep. that you've been testing some riders. We won't name them. That's up to you to name them. But yep. who's going to – what can you tell us about the rider that – may come into the team for Snetterton. What, what, what can I tell you? Well, I can't tell you who it is not yet because no. he has to tell his own sponsors. I've, in all honesty, um, even before I came on air, I actually had another um, top rider for me. And I can't tell you who it is or even what class that was from because potentially you could work out who it was. Um, yes. But the, the rider I may put on the bike going to our home round, I think if he's fit, um, I wouldn't write him off seriously. Maybe top four finish. Wow. That's net. Yeah. And that would oh, yeah. be a much needed top four as well because, of course, you haven't had yep. a, a podium yep. since round one. And you, nope. I don't, you've, you've struggled since exactly. then really as well. Exactly right. Yeah, we have struggled. But then you've got to say to yourself, don't write Sam off either. No. No, Sam's Sam, only going to Sam get better. Coming in. Sam will get better and better as we continue. We hear very little moons and groans from Sam. And whatever Sam asks for, Sam gets exactly the same as Josh did. Um, as I say, don't write Sam off just yet for Snetterton. He will be fired up and ready to go and say, we'll give him everything he wants. But as in the new rider, don't write the new rider off either. Some He's already people... the new rider. Go on. Go on. You know, go on, finish, finish. Go on, look at... uh, um, all I was going to say was that potentially the rider that we signed for Snetterton and the rest of the season has already ridden the ZX-10 and he's already tested our bike as well. Okay. And he's already complimented and he's already complimented us on how good our bike is. Right. It's very interesting then. Undoubtedly yeah. this is what I was just gonna come to. Undoubtedly now people yep. are gonna say, Oh Morello Kawasaki swapping and changing the riders because last year Fraser Rogers left before the season was out. What would you say to those people now who are just saying Morello Kawasaki they can't keep hold of both their riders to the end of the season? What would you say to people like that? Come and have a go at running the team. Come and have a go. When you put your money into it, you come and have a go. Because at the end of the day, I throw, as, as do a lot of teams, absolutely thousands of pounds at them bikes. That's nothing to do. We can't keep hold of a rider at the end of the day. We could not give Josh simply what he wanted. End of story. We just couldn't give him what he wanted. And I don't think Morello will be the first team or the last team, to have a rider come and a rider go. At the end of the day, Josh is looking out for his career, 
and he's done what he believes is right. Now, that is, you can't blame um, either myself or Chris or Michael from KTEC. We are all there simply trying to do a job to give Josh what he wants. Um, the reason Fraser left last year was absolutely nothing to do with the issues that we've had with Josh on the bike. Totally different things altogether. And I don't think Fraser would appreciate me going into that live on there because that is totally irrelevant to the reason why Josh left. And it's obviously confidential as well. Well, finally, before we is, let yeah. you, uh, yeah. before we let you have your uh, nightcap or hot chocolate, whatever you're going to have yeah. tonight. Um, Horlicks, Horlicks. Horlicks, oh, sorry, excuse me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Of course, you have got Superbike pedigree. People forget you came into the paddock as a Superbike team. There may be... Is there an opportunity now that you may return to Superbikes, maybe go on to a different championship altogether? Might even go on to a different championship altogether. As in Might a completely new Britain. paddock? Completely new paddock altogether, yeah. Completely new. And did that yep. be before the end of the season, or was that looking ahead nope. to 2019? Nope. No, that's look that's, that's looking ahead to 2019. To, seven, seven totally, di seven totally different altogether. All right. Well, we will keep tabs on that, Steve. Thanks for giving us that uh, breaking news earlier on. Uh, of course, we yeah, will catch up with you in uh, in great detail at Snetterton to discuss further what's gone on and uh, and everything. We're running out of time on the show tonight. It's been very, very yeah. busy, but appreciate you coming on last minute and uh, all the best for the rest of the season. Yeah. Cheers, Kiko. We'll speak to you later, Lester. Hi, I'm Ben Curry. Hello, I'm Josh Elliott. Hi, I'm Jonathan Ray from the Kawasaki Racing Team. I'm Keith Farmer. And this is Motorsport Radio. Hi, I'm Joanne Zacco, Motorsport Radio. Hi, I'm Ryan Vickers, and this is Motorsport Radio. Hi, I'm Michael Laverty, and this is Motorsport Radio. Hi, I'm Bradley Wright, and this is Motorsport Radio. The Superbike Show on Motorsport Radio.